Okay, so now we're on our Facebook page. We're already logged into Facebook. We scroll down to find the pages section. Once you're in the pages section, we can see the pages that we have and create a new page. In this section, you can choose your page name, the category, and a description of your page. In this section, we've picked clothing. After that, you can confirm it, and now you have your shop started. Now, we already have a banner image and also a profile picture, but you can change that yourself by clicking on the photo and up or uploading the photo of your brand image or brand logo. So now that your page is started, you have lots and lots of options to add information about your shop or about your business. Mm -hmm. Now, if we go down here, scroll all the way to the left-hand side about, you can add information about your shop, your location, contact information, and your opening times. Now, the most important section here is shop, which is next to home. Now, this is going to be your main shop portal. Once you're in here, you can start adding your products by simply clicking on the add products section. But we also have manage shop, improve your shop, and also direct links for products. You can delete your shop also if you're interested in a certain shop. Now you're in your shop page, you can add product by clicking on the add product button. Here we've gone straight into the images. You can upload images of your product, the name, the price, and also the description. And there's also a checkout URL, which is a link that your customers can go to to pay for the products that you have on your shop. Now here we've got the name of the product is Scrubs. We've had the price is $23.90. And we've also got a sale price there that you can also add if you want to do certain sales for certain, for certain periods. Beneath that, we have a description, a description of the product. You can put a description of your own, or you can add other titles. Now here we're on the checkout URL. Now, if you don't have a website, you can enter in your website, but if you don't, you can leave it empty if you would like to, and your customers can pay via PayPal or other types of payment. Now that we've added our product, and we can see it appearing on our product page here. So that's our first product. After this, we can add collections if you would like to. Now, collections are simply series or product series that you would like to add. Now, we here we have sale, or we've changed our collection name to new. Now, this will be new products in this certain case. Um, we can add the product button there and add our new, newly added product for our customers to buy. Now, we can go back to our homepage. On our homepage again, we go into shop, and we can see our first products is on the front homepage, as you can see there. In this section, we can also add another description of our shop or products if you would like to. And this again will appear here. You can add sale information or new products coming out also. Now, if we go onto this right hand side button here, we can also add stock quantity, category, brand, and all the, also the condition. So a lot of you guys could be doing second hand, but here in the items page, we have all the information about our product, QR code, which is very helpful for quick checkouts. Now we go back to our shop again, the product is still there. We can also search the products here too. And if we go back to our homepage on the left-hand side shop, we have our sh shop products on display. Now let's see how our customers see it. If we go into our shop page, we can click on the product again. And this is what our customers will be seeing, the product image. We can also add uh, a new collection or save this product if we like it. And if you have a website link, we can add it to the bottom also for ease. And there we have it, guys. Very, very simple way of setting up a Facebook shop.